to garden. So today I have a basket with me because I have some fun stuff that I want to do in the garden. Um, yesterday I stopped over uh, the Christmas tree store that we have here, um, and I think there's a chain of them, but we have one in here um, in Cherry Hill, and I purchased some plants. So I want to be able to plant these, and you know what? I'm going to give the Christmas tree a chance. So this is pretty much maybe like a review and see how their plants really do. Um, I did purchase a dwarf red leaf Japanese maple. As you guys can see here, um, Japanese maple. And I mean, it looks like it's still alive. Comes in this bag. And um, this was only $6.99, but it was half price, uh, so it was $3.50. So for $3.50, I did purchase a Japanese maple. And then I did purchase some lilies. Um, and these are hardy lilies. I don't have this one. Um, I have quite a bit of them. And there's six of them in here. This was $5.99, half price, $3 for six of them. And then there's these um, also hardy perennial lilies. And these are the red bold ones. Look how beautiful they are. Uh, so two lilies in here, and this was $4.99, um, so $2.50, half price. Isn't that gorgeous? So I am going to plant these out there, and I know I have tons of lilies, but I can't get enough of them. They are in bloom right now, and I'll show you some of them, and I believe that you guys may have seen last uh, week on my video. I did purchase some pruners, um, and this was a pack for like $10, both of them. Look how nice. And then um, I did purchase two bird houses. I'm going to put them uh, throughout the garden. And it has the tin top, so it will protect the wood. But look how beautiful. Look, it's got the opening there, and that's sunflower. And then if they nest or anything, look at that. You can look at them right through there. Isn't that gorgeous? So I have two of them. I have that one, and I have this one. I'm going to put this one there. It's, again, tin top. Um, it is wood, so eventually you will give. But you know what? If I get a couple of months um, this year, that's okay. And again, opening the back. And then it's got that opening there with a little stand. And then, um, ooh, and guess what else I got, guys? So I was looking for a pair of shoes to use in the garden. And they have garden shoes. And these are made out of that same croc material. But look how beautiful these are. So I did get a pair, so I am wearing them today. I do have them on. Actually, my mom got a pair too. I went shopping with my mother yesterday, uh, which we had a fun time. Uh, we haven't done that in a very long time. So um, I will show you what my shoes look like. Um, so I'm going to use them out there. So let's get out there and let's plant these and, um, and just have some fun throughout the garden. All right, guys. So I decided where to plant everything. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to plant the red lilies. And I think I'm going to do them in this bed here. I see that um, I do have space in between some of these plants actually I'm going to place one right in here and then the other one on the opposite side back there so let's put this one right in between here I want to say right there in a bag like this, sealed, and let's see what it looks like inside. So there should be two in here.
All right, so there's both of them here. Mm, I really hope they make it, guys. So let's see what they look like. Um, we'll keep an eye on them throughout the summer. Go plant the other one. Now we just have to water them and watch them grow. So let's now, um, I already, oh, it's hot out here, guys. Um, I did find where I'm gonna put those six also hardy lilies right back here. Um, so this is back there, the entrance of the garden here uh, from the driveway. So I want to plant them right here, right next to the um, bird bath, um, right in front of here. So I'm going to plant it that way. When they come up, they'll all be lined up right in front of here. So as you enter, you'll be able to, to smell the scent on these hardy lilies. All right, so I did manage to get four in there um, and two on this side. And I'm gonna put two right here. So let's take a look and see what they look like in the package in here. Um, all right. Now they say full sun. I do get quite a bit of sun in this area during the day. I get a little shade in the afternoon. So they should be fine here. All right, so this is what they look like. They look pretty good. They are planted, so let's take and see. Uh, take a look what happens through the rest of the summer, um, and see if they come up. All right, my last one. I'm going to plant my Japanese maple, but I'm going to do that in my front garden. Um, guys, look at my balloon flowers here. Look how beautiful they're doing.
and they have multiplied um i only planted four there uh probably about three years ago and they completely just have taken off you guys can see in the background the lilies are still going strong all throughout the garden look at that the rest of these lilies the yellow ones lots and lots of color Ooh, my daisies Daisies are doing wonderful. Oh, and I bought the creamy daisies last year. And look. Aren't they gorgeous? They're like a, like a cream color. Um, all right, so let's get out of here. Oh, guys, I have to show you my... Oh, um, my goodness. My hydrangea, my pink hydrangeas. Look at this. Look at that it is gorgeous it's loving that corner there um and again you guys can see the rest of those hydrangeas are doing so beautiful and i'm going to step out here let's just come on out here and i'm going to plant actually right here so i do have a pine tree on this side here and this is the front of the house um, because i want it to be able to you guys see that red maple back there right here so that's the front of the house so i want to be able to balance that and i'll place it here which is right before you get into our uh, gate here into the garden so let's plant this one here I think it's definitely going to do well here. Uh, the problem is I do have a, <clears throat> I have a yucca here right in the front and I would have liked to have, have it centered. Actually, I'm going to take the yucca out guys and I'm going to put the maple tree right in front of there. but um, I think it's still alive. It's got some little red growth on the side here on the node. So it's gonna make it, it should make it with no problem. I'll just plant a yucca on each side. Hmm, that's a good idea. I think that's what I'll do. water them in just a little bit um, and yes look all right so I am done planting all this stuff out here um, and Oh, let me show you where I hung the, the birdhouses. They really do look pretty. Now I have to hang it somewhere where the squirrels are not going to get to them. I have to pick up some of this stuff and clean up. But, all right. So, we are now heading towards the orchid gazebo. But this is one of the bird houses on this side. Now I placed it on this branch so that way if the squirrel tries to get in there, it'll come down like this 
and they won't be able to get into the, uh, the birdhouse there. And then the other one, I have this here. So I'm going to put it permanent there so you can you guys can see I'm going to bolt it onto there eventually and then it will stay there and hopefully the squirrels won't be able to climb there if not I'll put something around here so the squirrels won't get up there actually look they got into my avocado pot ah oh, look what happened oh you know who I think it was the groundhog. The squirrels wouldn't have had done that. Oh, the groundhog may be coming back. Oh my goodness. Look, I have to put all the soil right back in there again. Can you see that? Oh no. Oh. All right, I have to figure out how I can fix that again can't avoid that groundhog coming in here so um so i do have now the two bird houses back there um that's about it guys so today was going to be kind of a little short video um just again no christmas tree store maybe you know i could give them a try their plants so now that i planted these let's just watch them grow and see what happens um so we'll see and um, and again, more lilies in the garden. That is so exciting. Um, eventually, guys, you know that I want to be able to have so many, so many uh, lilies, flowers, color. Just, again, I want my garden to look like a jungle. So I'm just still working towards that. So we'll see what happens throughout the year. So thank you again for stopping by, guys, and uh, checking out my channel. And I hope you guys are definitely having fun and just inspiring you to definitely get out there into your garden and get some ideas of what you want to see in your garden. This is your space, your personal space. So make it yours. Um, so thank you again. And please don't forget to subscribe. And don't forget to give me a thumbs up, guys, if you definitely enjoyed this video. Don't forget to hit that notification button so then again you can be notified of everything that comes through from my channel check me out on instagram where i check where i actually just post videos or pictures of what's going on in my garden here so thank you again and i hope to see you guys on the next video peace have a great weekend bye